Let's keep it pushing. We got a lot more topics today. We're going to go ahead and cover this topic right here because this genuinely, genuinely really made me feel like the kids are confused, man. So we're going to talk about a lot of things right here. We're going to go ahead and talk about this tweet right here, uh, Elon. We're going to talk about this um, this whole LA Convention Center thing. But the first clip I want to play is this, and it says... This is heartbreaking and infuriating. This poor girl with special needs got in trouble at school for addressing her narcissist teacher by the wrong pronouns. Not only that, she doesn't dress out for P.E. because male staff are always in the teacher's office in the girl's locker room. When she asked, when she asked why she was harassed for it. When she asked why she was harassed for it, okay. So basically what's going on is this girl is genuinely confused as fuck to what all these new norms are. So I'm playing this video, then we're going to get into the other topics. I got in trouble one time for um, calling this girl, Penny, a girl. I said, well, she, Kenny and I, I used the word she when I was using my assignment because we were working together. Um, I was also in the girls' locker room. I don't like to dress that at all, and uh, that's not okay. Um, well, I got in trouble for it because I did not dress out in front of other people. I didn't dress out for many reasons. One, there's male teachers inside of the girls' locker room talking to my, um, Miss Lewis. They go to the same, they, the girl's locker room and then there's Miss Lewis' office. Miss Lewis has her door open and then there's male teachers inside of the, the, her office. Um, I never wanted to see that. Um, that's why I don't dress out to a PE. Um, I... I was scared, I was terrified, and then, um, that I was afraid of somebody staring at me, a male, an adult male, staring at me while I'm changing. That's why I don't change. And then, um, it was another issue. I am in the special day classes, and I have a one-on-one -on -one aid. My one-on-one -on -one aid was Cameron, but they called him Cam. I asked it, I guess I was mistaken or corrected by calling Cameron Miss Cam. My parents had always taught me that adults, a male is Mr. and their last name or their first name. Female is Miss or Mrs. if they're married and of their first name or their last name. Um, with Cameron, I called him, yeah, I called him Miss Cameron because I saw the breath. I'm not saying that I can see well, what their private parts are because that would be kind of weird. I saw breath. I called him Miss Cameron. Um, many times, more than one time, I have been... Uh, ignored by my own teachers because I called them by the wrong pronoun. Um, I always been ignored by calling Cameron a miss instead of a mister. I wasn't exactly sure what that was because I wasn't raised like that. So I called Cameron Miss Kim. They didn't like to call him Cameron, but it was Miss Kim. My parents taught me if they're confused, just call them by their first name. I always thought that that was disrespectful. I called them Cameron. Um, hey, I'm, I'm sorry that your five minutes is up. I'm sorry. I'm but not. Thank I'm, you for sharing. Yeah. With us. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. It's so sad that a 
a student. Um, it definitely was hard to watch that. It definitely was heartbreaking to watch that. It's um, it's upsetting, you know. Um, if if the caption if the um caption here is correct, if the tweet is correct, and even the 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 girl herself said that she's in the special needs classes, you are a teacher for the special needs classes. You are a teacher's aide for the special needs classes, and you are ignoring these students because. They hit you with the wrong pronouns. They are already in those classes because they have learning disabilities or social disabilities. And you're going to shame them even more for not knowing such a confusing topic and such a confusing matter. When being a teacher's aide, if I'm not mistaken, you're still trying to become a teacher, right? Don't punish and shame them for not knowing. Try to teach them. If you are so about the movement. This is upsetting to watch man. Now I was going to pair this with the other stuff. But I'm going to leave this as it's own video. Because this alone. It, it, it's already a lot to take in. I don't even think I need to say any words here. We played the video. It's heartbreaking to watch that video. It sucks because you can really hear the pain in her voice. The confusion in her voice. And she didn't mean to do wrong. Even at the at the end when they're talking, when she's when the girl is talking about the teacher, she's referring to the teacher as a um, a she. I mean, I mean a he or whatever they want to go by the opposite pronoun because they said uh, the girl said that she referred to the teacher as Miss Cameron, but every single time she said something about the teacher, she said him, his, which she's trying to learn. You don't have to shame her. Now, I do know that there's a whole protest going on right now in Glendale um, about all of this stuff, um, specifically uh, based around this matter. So this happened in Glendale. This was at Glendale City Council. There's a lot going on, man. There's a lot of people who are not rocking with this, and this really does suck. The fact that there's male teachers in the girls' locker room, I, if I remember correctly, when I was in middle school, um, when I was in middle school, Male teachers could not even come anywhere near the girls' locker room. And the girl PE teacher was standing at the door like a goddamn security guard to make sure no boys went there. Wicked times we're living in, man. Wicked fucking times. 